What exactly is the Atlassian Teamwork Graph and why is it important to you? Well, we're gonna cover that in this video, so make sure you subscribe, make sure you drop a like, and let's jump into it. During the Atlassian Team 25 conference, Atlassian mentioned something called Teamwork Graph. And this is very important because even though Atlassian has been talking about this for some time, I think this is the first time that they publicly announced it, or at least acknowledged it in greater detail. Now, I have heard of Teamwork Graph before, but it was more through technical channels, and so I think this is the first time I've seen it in public. But what exactly is the teamwork graph? What well, last year has been doing a lot of changes over the last decade really is what they announced to make teamwork graph possible. And what the teamwork graph essentially is, it takes all of the technical aspects of you as an individual, as a person in the Atlassian ecosystem, right? You as a contributor, as a user of Jira, as a user of Confluence, as a user of all these tools in your company, you got Slack and Google Drive and email and GitHub, right? All of these tools, you do things in them, right? You are an active participant in these tools. And essentially, the teamwork graph allows you, or Atlass Atlassian, I should say, to basically build a profile around you, right? And so that is to say that Atlassian, to a certain level, knows who you are. It connects how you do it with what's important to you. And the teamwork graph is important because it basically creates a persona, if you will, of your information, not only within the Atlassian tools, but within all the tools that your company may or may not be using. And this, my friends, is what's super critical and super important about the teamwork graph because each individual is basically creating this experience that Atlassian knows about and then their tools like Rovo can now tap into it. And this is super important, folks. This is, I can't drive how important and how valuable this is going to be because Jira is not going to be the word we use anymore. It's just going to be Atlassian. And I think this is a critical shift because up to this point, Jira, Jira, Jira. We know a lot about Jira. But Atlassian as a, as a whole is shifting. And this teamwork graph is that first shift. And it's important because Atlassian, in a non-creepy way, will know everything about you. And by having this information about you, it can answer any question about you. And the AI experience is not going to be a guessing game, but it's going to be a game based on your customized experience. And Atlassian is doing this in, in a very clever way. So they're creating within Jura a new experience called basically what they're calling home. And this homepage is going to be your new entry point into Jura. And so rather than going to just find your work that's important for you, Atlassian is truly going to build a tailored and customized experience for you. So it's not just a simple what tickets are assigned to me, but rather what, what am I working on? What meetings have I been to? Where What meetings have I been mentioned in? What code am I working on that is impacting a meeting, which is impacting a metric that some other team member in accounting is working on, right? And so it just knows everything about you. And it's going to make finding what people need from you and how you can help your team, and how you can all work together as a team, it's gonna make that so much easier. And I'm really, really, truly excited for this. I think this is a really, really interesting thing that Atlassian is gonna be working on here. And I had an opportunity to sit down and ask Mike about how he sees all this play out in the future. And the interesting thing that he told me was that, to him, it just makes sense, right? To him, it makes sense that they're doing this. And and this, this is important because while it makes sense to Atlassian, I think the competition they need to be paying attention to this because no longer are you just going to use a tool to be productive, but rather the tool is going to work for you to like 10x your productivity. And I don't see a lot of companies other than like Microsoft doing this. I think Atlassian is really trying to own their stack, but their connectors, which we're going to talk in a future video, so make sure you subscribe. Their connectors allow Jira, it's, or just Atlassian, right? Know what house you're working on. And their tools are interconnected, but not just their tools like Jira, Confluence, and Loom, but even external tools like Slack and GitHub and, and email and PowerPoint, right? Like all these tools are interconnected now with Robo, and that experience is going to be very magical. And I, I, I don't see any other company doing or performing at this level, and I think it's going to set Atlassian apart, and I think it's going to leave a lot of competitors behind, because while a lot of competitors are focused on AI, awesome, 
Atlassian's utilization of teamwork graph, right? They just know so much about, Atlassian's been around for 25 years, right? They just know so much about you as an employee, as a worker, as a as an individual contributor in your company. And now with the teamwork graph, they can tap into that knowledge to really create a very fluid, dynamic experience that's going to be very one of a kind. So I'm very excited to see where Atlassian goes with this teamwork graph. And they had to do a tremendous amount of re-architecture here, right? So Jura didn't used to be this way. Jura used to be a very siloed tool that basically Jura's data was in Jura and Confluence data was in Confluence and everything was segregated, right? All the, Everything was a different database. But with the teamwork graph, it's just one big giant happy family that Rovo has access to. So let me know down below, what do you think of the teamwork graph? Are you excited for this? Is this something that you think is going to take your team to the next level? Let me know down below. And if you found value to this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button. And we'll see you in the next one.